I'm in the business of, uh, of empowering men to uh, help uh, make their women happy and fill their needs of, uh, for joy and uh, love by selling What, do you sell diamonds? I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I also I empower diamonds. women to make themselves feel beautiful, too. You can do it on your own. My question is, how do I get more people to, uh, to call for help? Well, first of all, I wouldn't want more people. I would want more of the right people. The right people. People so, who are either thinking now or will be thinking about buying a diamond. Because people don't wake up one morning and say, I'm getting engaged, I'm buying a diamond. They, they give some thought to it, the process, and they do okay. research. So who is the best of those people? Because there are lots of people that could be thinking about buying a diamond. I'd like to get a gold grill and have a diamond right there just to be classy. <laughs> so, you know, people are playing. it is pretty classy. People who are planning to get engaged or who are having anniversaries or don't want to upgrade a diamond, those are the people who Which are of the those best. three is the most desirable to you? Well, not necessarily the people who can spend the most because that's not where necessarily the highest profit margin is, but the people who are currently thinking about getting engaged and need help. Okay. So I would start immediately by only focusing on those with the campaign we're, we're talking about specifically. Well, I generate leads online. I don't have a shopping cart. I don't believe in it. I, don't I, th I think you're it. right, by they the way. I think that's a me. smart call. I think that's a very good decision because, I mean, I would be sketched out by a diamond on the interwebs, you know. But anyway, so if that's what you're after, if you're after those dudes, I would find a way to reach just those guys. I'm confident that when I get them to call me, I'll close them. So really, the, the question the should be, how do I get them to call me? Right? Yeah. So what you, what's, why, the, what's the offer that would be powerful enough to get them to make that call? Because there's that's the other piece that you said that out. I want to point out that was so critical, guys. I'm listening mm -hmm. in, a, in an hour's conversation. You're not going to remember everything. But one of those pieces are you didn't have to be a great marketer if you have the right what? Offer. Well, I'm, I'm, in addition to sending them the report, I'm offering them, let's say, a 5% discount on any piece of diamond jewelry that they'll buy. Mm -hmm. or a 10% discount on an engagement ring setting or wedding band if they buy the loose diamond from me as well. So that's How what about, I'm so working right now. If you, if you want them to call you, so you're trying to make the sale, you're trying to get the commitment of, for them to raise their hand as a buyer in the print, in the media, in the email, right? And that's very difficult. You're, it's proving to be very difficult, right? Yeah. So I would shift the offer to be like, look, I don't care when you're going to get married, but I'm feeling really, really generous right now, and marriage is a beautiful thing, and it's lovely, and uh, blah, 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 whatever, you know? <laughs> that didn't sound right, but you know what I mean? <laughs> if you call today, I will give you X discount whenever you choose to buy your diamond, because chances are, when they call you, they're already ready to buy the diamond, but they're being scared off buy the 10% discount today because they're thinking, well, I'm going to have to buy today. But if you remove that pressure and you remove that fear, it gives them permission to call without that. Does that make sense? It does. It allows me to, actually, I, it's any time. My offer is not limited to if they call today. So give them a reason but to I can call make it. I can make it clearer mm -hmm. that their offer is whenever they call. Yeah, so give them or a reason. Or if like, they have a friend call who mentions their name. I can well, we need, we need to be very specific in the marketing, though. We need to be very specific. Call by X. And I will give you X discount plus X cool stuff anytime you ever buy a diamond from me. And if you buy, here's an irresistible offer. If you buy a diamond from a competitor, that's okay. I will send you as a congratulatory gift a gold chain for your wife to wear on her wrist on her wedding day, just as my show of appreciation for your thanks in calling me. Yeah. I think this is how how many see the difference here? The secret, though, to this only works if when you get that person, you can truly what? Convert. You got to deliver. If you can really deliver, you can make these offers. The very thing we did the other day, we made the offer. We just make it more and more and more compelling because you know you're going to deliver. And when you get that, that's how you stand out from anybody else, and that's how you get the phone ringing. Well, humbly, I I, I deliver. Delivery is not my problem. Okay. It's figuring out what the irresistible offer has to be and how to. But, but how do you figure? How does anybody figure that out? By the way, Frank's going to go away. I'll go away. Everybody's going to go away. How are you going to find the most irresistible offer? How? Well, you two is test, but the first thing is you just brainstorm and find somebody before you even test anywhere else and say, would this make you call? How many would pick up the phone for a 5 to 10% discount? Raise your hand. One person out of 1,000, out of 900. 
How many pick up the phone if I can get a 10% discount forever? Just out of curiosity, anytime. See if that does it. How many pick up the phone if you say, listen, I'll evaluate any other diamond you have and I'll beat the price or I'll send you a gold bracelet for your lady at some stage. Let me see a show of hands. Which, by the way, we just added something. Evaluate any other diamond you're putting out there. So now I've got a trusted expert who, if they don't deliver for me, I get something no matter what. And we just got 90% of the room to raise their hand. All we change, how much does that cost, by the way, to make that change in his business? Nothing. Zero. Changing an offer costs nothing. This is where you make a 1,000, 10,000% chance. We're talking about optimizing, right? This optimization is the part to go from leads to people that actually engage with you, right? The equivalent of the appointment or having the meaningful conversation. So all you've got to do is start to say, guys, I can change my business 500%, 1,000%, 30%, 40%. But what I understand is the greatest investment I've got is the X factor of my intelligence, my creativity, my sitting down and brainstorming. You don't have to be the genius to do it. You can call hire somebody like Frank. You can bring somebody in to do it. Or you can just sit down and go, you know what? I'm going to stop being a goddamn business operator who's running like crazy in my business. I'm going to step out and be the business owner and go, what will produce this result? That was the goal of these five days.